Don't worry, this video is 100% spoiler free, the greatest anime ending ever written of all time. So we are going to be checking out 10 of the best ending ever written in anime and it's up to you guys to vote which is the best and make sure to leave the comment in which in case I missed any of the better anime endings in this video and make sure to know that this video is not in a chronological order. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10 The Ending of Death Note Now this series is one of the most cherished and one of the most beloved series of all time. The ending was something else. I understood that killing people was a crime. There was no other way the world had to be fixed. A purpose given to me. <laughs> Only I could do it. Who else could have done it and come this far? Would they have kept going? The only one who can create a new world is me. The plot was something unexpected. No one ever saw that that was coming. The whole turn of events and the whole twist of story was something else and it is the series that I want to rewatch it again and again and again but I also definitely want to forget it. You ever watched a series and you ever think of that I want to forget this and watch it for the first time? Death Note is definitely that series. The whole anime is a detective anime which is filled with mind games and thriller that will give you the best thrill that you could ever witness in your life. And if you're a heart patient, I've, I must warn you because it might give you a heart attack also. If you're looking for something that is really intelligently written and if you want some thrill, if you want some plot, then this anime is the best for you. Go watch it. And, but... It's not enough. This world is still rotten. With too many rotten people. Somebody has to do this. And when I first got that notebook all those years ago, I knew I had to do it. No, I was the only one who could. Number nine anime we are talking about is... About is Berserk. And I'm talking about the 1997 Berserk. I'm not talking about the manga. Some might argue that Berserk and 1997 was not its end, but it went hiatus after that. So I consider it an end because it took 20 years to bring Berserk back. So that's that counts as an end. It's a story about medieval period. If you like swords, if you like a story that is going to stun you completely, if you want to see character development at its best, this anime is for you. It consists of strategy. It has a beautiful story. It is one of the most fascinating stories I've ever witnessed. And the ending, oh Jesus Christ, where do I begin with? I only have two words. The ending of this anime is gonna leave you stunned and shocked completely. You're gonna be like, what did I just witnessed? What happened? Oh my god, why? It is a complete shocker and a complete banger of an ending. The writer just plays with everyone. He's like, here you go. And damn. <laughs> It is one of the, if not the most shocking ending ever. Now, the eighth one we are going to be talking about is of What's wrong? Why not shoot? Your opponent is just a schoolboy, or have you finally realized 
The only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. Code Geass. Many believe this to be the greatest anime ending ever. Lelouchwi Britannia is a fallen prince who is a student now and who is really intelligent. His intelligence is out of this world. And with his intelligence and with his charisma, he just plays with the so-called British government who has conquered the whole world. He toys with them, he plays with them, destroying the British government and showing how pathetic their tactics are and how corrupt of a system they run. And he would not stand this system at all. But deep down inside it, he just only wants one thing, to create heaven for one loved one. But things don't go always as you planned it. This story has some of the very deep dark secrets revealed in the end. The way the story changes and its plots is something really amazing. If you're looking for something that is really mindful, if you're looking for some tactics, robots, an evil organization running, enslaving people, and we have some people who are opposing them and fighting them, then this anime is a must watch. And its ending is for sure, for sure, one of the greatest anime endings, if not the greatest. Many, for many hardcore anime fans, it's the greatest anime ending ever written. Now, number 7 we are going to be talking about is Shinji no Kyojin, Attack on Titan. It's gone. Our house, it's all gone. Forever. Forever. Why was I always such a brat? Why did I always fight her? I never said, I love you. Now I'll never get to. Never. There's nothing you could have done for her, you understand? Because I'm a kid. Because I'm weak. Because every last one of us is a damn coward. This is over. I'm gonna put a stop to this. I'll kill them all. Every last one. It is one of the most popular anime ever. Now, for those that have read manga, they know what's up. But those that only watch anime, they are just waiting, waiting and waiting. Because there is something that they shouldn't know of. The ending of Attack on Titan is gonna shock the world when it gets animated. Now, if you are new to anime world and if you are just starting to watch anime and wondering why you should watch this, this anime is about humanity fighting titans. Titans are beings which won't let humanity free from its walls. It's like humanity but it is like a huge prison the humanity is kept in and all the humans want who lives in that prison, they want to be free and it's a fight for freedom. This anime shows the true dark side of racism. It shows racism at its peak. It also shows that how powerful people manipulates media and tricks them. They trick normal people into believing stuff that they want to implement in their heads. This anime is also a very big fight and you guessed it, this fight is for racism, superiority of races. And its ending, it's oh god. Oh god, the ending is gonna shock everyone. The way the events turns out, the way the story changes from one thing to another. The deep dark, the darkest secret of the society is revealed. And the way the story changes and the way it continues, it's just effing awesome. And the end, oh lord, I don't have any words to say. Now number 6 ending we are going to be talking about is the grave of the fireflies.
の頃<笑>こっちは玄関はい。And it's actually really good. It just shows the dark side of World War and it also educates a lot about the world during the World War and what losses did it cause. And after this, you're gonna hate the word World War and you're gonna be like, I wish I never see World War ever again and I wish that it didn't happen. It's a really eye opener and just watch it. Trust me on this one. Number five, the ending of your life in April. I met the girl under full blossomed cherry blossoms, and my fate has begun to change. Now this story is something really deep. It's about a boy who is a pianist, who is a prodigy, who is extremely exceptional. He was so good at such young age that no one ever came close to him. But despite all of that, despite everyone knowing that this child was really out of this world, despite all of that, he leaves his passion for playing the piano and music. Why? due to some traumatic experiences that occurred in his past life that trauma would haunt him so much that he would finally leave the piano and he would hate the piano the most until he met a girl that girl would reignite his passion for playing the piano the story it is one of the best romantic animes out there it is for me the best romantic anime ever and this anime ends with Oh wait, I forgot. I was supposed to not give you any spoilers. So, mhm. Ah, to bar で飲んでいる姿を目撃されている。でもおかしいんですよね。僕の調べたところだと、少年を殺害する前にあなたが飲んでいる姿を見かけた人が一人もいないんですよ。あなた、少年を撃った時飲んでいなかったんじゃないですか。No. シラフだった、冷静だった。嘘をつけば、あなたの罪がなくなると思いますか。Number four, the ending of Monster. In this anime, the main protagonist is a brilliant neurosurgeon, Kenzo Tanma. He is an over exceptional surgeon. So what happens is, due to politics and the order from the higher ups, Kenzo Tanma is being forced. to do a surgery on a person who has influence and power instead of the person who came first in the hospital for the surgery but he's a normal person so due to this politics the normal person loses his life his mother mourns towards her son death and the mother she blames dr tanma as he had the power to give life to his son but instead he chose to give it to someone who had more influence and power for dr tenma all lives were equal so the next time he was given the orders of doing the surgery of an popular opera singer he instead chooses to do the surgery on the one 
child that came first in the hospital he had a bullet in his head dr tanma successfully performs the surgery and gets it removed saving that child's life but that child is not an ordinary child it's a monster that child would grow up to be so terrific so horrifying that he would strike the deepest fears even in the hearts of the cold blooded murderers even serial killers now some people might say that the monster ending is really not that good because it's a really really complex anime and if you want to know the full detail the full insight of the ending please click the link in the description the ending of monster reveals all the mysteries of the story from how it started and it gets really emotional and really tragic now about the monster ending video what's the whole thing in the end screen click on that video you're going to love that trust me just click on the link or wait until the video ends i will highlight the video by the end so na omoi tsumi o okashita ningen ga rippa ni tachinaotta youna kan o shite musume san ni aun desu ka ドクターギーレンカ。うん。警察です。あなたの患者のリヒャルトブラウンが死にました。ほ。ナンバー 4 is out of this world and it's really one of the best things ever to watch to be honest I'm so excited Make sure you listen to your uncle I will Don't forget your ticket you won't get very far without it Mom I got it jeez I've been going there every year I know what to do I was 6 when I first met him. It's a 44-minute shoujo anime film. In English, you may also know it as Into the Forest of the Fireflies Light. It tells the story of a 6-year-old girl named Hotaru Takewa. She gets lost into a forest which is inhabited by a mountain spirit known as Jin. She is really found of that mask-wearing human-like entity. Jin is the one who leads her and guides her back to home from the forest. the place where she's lost the only time they can ever meet is in summer holidays during summer when she visits to a relative's house but even still until then keep it As every year goes by, they meet every time in the holidays of summer. Sounds like a really wholesome and cute story, but its ending is really great. You should definitely give this a watch. It's only 44 minutes and it is sure as hell worth it. Even though it was silly, It was so much fun. Gin, I'm here. Ta-da! I'm a fifth grader now. Somehow, you're starting to look a little like a woman. I am a woman. Can we go now? Otaru. Let me tell you something. <sighs> Number 3 is Assassination Classroom. Now this story might sound a little weird but bear with me. 
So it's a classroom of assassins. The teacher job is to teach all the students to be a great assassin and their goal is to kill the teacher. Despite their weird storyline, this anime really shows the relation a teacher and a student have. <laughs> What can it be like and how important is that relationship, that bond? The story might sound weird and all but when you start watching it, you'll be like wow. The character development and the attachment we have towards the character just increases and it's a good story to be honest. It's a good anime. <laughs> And the ending, it is Sayonara. On to the next one. Number two, we have Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Welcome to the world of alchemistry. This anime is the best, highest rated anime ever. So it is safe to say and it is safe to assume that it is the most highest rated and the most liked anime ever. It's a story of two brothers who were raised by a mother but due to tragic events their mother dies. Their father is a really renowned alchemist but after the loss of their mother they are raised by their best friend and his grandma. It's a story about reviving their mother through alchemistry. But that's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Here are some honorable mentions. Cowboy Bebop, Akamega Kill, Erased, Darling in the Franks, Sakarano no Pet no Kanojo, EF A Tale of Memories, 3D Girlfriend, Toradora, Steins Gate, Angel Beats, Charlotte, Fairy Tale, Blue Exorcist, Clivery of a Fail Night, Grand Blue, Noragami, The Promised Neverland Season 1 ending. I don't think that's how it works, the ending. Alright, it's The Promised Neverland ending, I don't know. Also at Terror and Resonance, Kino's Journey, Clanned After Story, Prison School, Violet Evergarden. Hey, now for the number one spot. I want you to think as hard as those puny brains of yours can manage. Have you ever spared a pig or a cow? Because it begged you for its life. Hunter Hunter ending. Now I really really thought about it, but I couldn't find any better than this. And I'm talking about the end of Chimera Enta. I know that's not how ending works and Hunter Hunter is actually coming back. I really read some articles on the internet saying that Hunter Hunter has a really good ending when gone finally. I'm not saying the word but that's not true. I think the better part of the ending is the Chimera Antarch. The way the Chimera Antarch ended. Now those people that have watched the series of Hunter Hunter, they know exactly what I'm talking about. The story of Meruem and Komogi. And wow, you cannot end a story like that. It was really so beautiful, so very well thought of, so heartful. The story was like it gave me life itself and it literally took it away. Now that's it for now. If this video gets 20 likes, I'll make a part 2 if you guys want. But for now, make sure that you like, comment your favorite anime endings and subscribe. Yeah, I almost forgot. Click on this video, the ending of Monster, the video I was talking about earlier. Click it. Come on, do it. The ending of Monster Explained, yeah, this video. Click it, click it now.